सर इज इट विजिबल यस यस सी माय सेल्फ चैतन्य गावडे आई एम पार्ट ऑफ 10th सीबीएसई बैच एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच बैलेंसिंग केमिकल इक्वेशंस वन मिनिट सर आई विल प्रेजेंट अगेन यस सर नाउ इज इट विजिबल in order to balance the chemical equation we need to make sure that the number of atoms of each element in the reactant side are equal to the number of atoms of each element to the product side see so now we are going to see the methods for balancing the chemical equations basically there are two methods the first one is the heat and trial method and the second one is the algebraic method the heat and trial method is the more appropriate one and is used frequently so we are going to see two examples of heat and trial method and one example of algebraic method see first of all uh, i will show what is a balanced chemical equation here uh, we can see that zinc plus sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen means chemically zn plus h2so4 gives znso4 plus h2 here we can see that uh, the number of atoms in the element of all the products and the reactants are equal means uh, how this uh, we can show table so first of all we will draw a table uh, we will make three columns the first will be elements name second will be number of atoms on the reactant side and third will be number of atoms on the product side so here zn zinc number of atoms on the reactant side is 1 and that is on uh, um, the number of atoms on the product side is also one see here zinc hydrogen sulfur and oxygen all are balanced so now we will uh, balance the following skeletal equation a skeletal equation is an unbalanced equation and we need to balance it for uh, proving the law of conservation of mass now what is law of conservation of mass law of conservation of mass states that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed so the number of atoms in the elements in the reactant side should be equal to the number of atoms of the elements in the product side so our first example is fe plus h2o that gives fe3o4 plus h2 here we can observe that fe is in balance because here fe1 is there see if here uh, no number is there means we have to consider it as 1 and here in the reactant side and in the product side here fe3 is there means fe is balanced and here o also is imbalanced in the reactant side o is 4 while in the uh, sorry in the reactant side o is 1 and in the product side o is 4 so what we will do first we will balance oxygen so first we will balance the oxygen so we will multiply h2o by 4 so when we will multiply h2o by 4 here o, o4 becomes equal to the o4 in the re, uh, product side but eventually the hydrogen which is h2 becomes h8 because 4 into 2 8 and here in the product side here h2 is only there so hydrogen becomes in balance so now we need to balance the hydrogen so we will multiply h2 in the product side by 4 so now we can see that when we multiply h2 in the product side by 4 the hydrogen is balanced now uh, we can see that oxygen is balanced and hydrogen is also balanced only iron that is fe is remaining to balance so now we will balance iron for balancing iron we need to multiply fe by 3 so that it will be equal to the 3 fe in the product side See, we have multiplied F E by three, so we can observe that a uh, whole equation is are balanced. Uh, this we can write in the table form also. We have multiplied F E that is one into three, so the number of atoms in the reactant side are three, and number of atoms in the product side also three. We have multiplied hydrogen by four, 
so uh, it has become now eight and so it is equal to uh, number of atoms in the product side eight in the uh, product side here oxygen is also balanced here we have multiplied oxygen by four which is equal to the uh, four in the product side so now we will balance the second equation uh, that is kcl o3 on decomposition that gives kcl plus o2 first we will draw a table as mentioned earlier i uh, will write the name of elements that is k potassium uh, potassium cl chlorine and o4 oxygen see here we can that, uh, see that potassium k is a first only balanced and cl uh, chlorine is also balanced one one only oxygen is remaining to balance we can see that in the reactant side here o3 is there and in the product side o2 is there so we need to balance them but what will happen when we will balance o3 means when we will write here 2 so we will multiply 2 into 3 6 we will do here oxygen 6 and here we will write 3 o2 in the product side but here kcl will be imbalanced because here k1 and cl1 is there and if we multiply this kcl o3 by 2 k and cl will also become 2 so we need to multiply this kcl in the product side also by 2 so now we have multiplied kcl o3 by 2 and uh, this kcl by 2 so we can see that our equation is now balanced see what we have done so far is that we have multiplied this k in the reactant side by 2 cl also we have uh, multiplied by 2 and oxygen also we have multiplied by 2 so uh, this becomes k2 cl2 and oxygen 6 in the uh, reactant side and in the product side uh, we have multiplied this kcl by 2 so k into 2 2 cl into 2 2 and here oxygen 2 into 3 6 so we can observe that our whole equation is balanced so uh, we have done two equations by heat and trial method now we will do one equation by the algebraic method this one is the easier method, but it is a uh, time consuming. So it is not used frequently. So uh, we will take one equation that is see, barium chloride plus H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid. It gives barium sulfate plus hydrochloric acid. Basically in this, what we have to do is that in each compound at the starting, we have to write an al alphabet. You see here first compound at the starting, we have to write A plus here B, uh, here C, and here D. And as per our law of conservation of mass, that uh, it proves that the number of uh, atoms in the uh, reactant side should be equal to the number of atoms in the product side. So we need to balance this equation. So what we have to do first that make a table or two columns. First one is the element name and second one we have to write equal to so we will write first all uh, the all the elements name it is ba barium cl chloride h hydrogen h uh, sorry s sulfur o oxygen so what our equation tells is that these are uh, all the uh, uh, reactants are equal number of atoms in the reactants are equal to the number of atoms in the products Yes, sir. Uh, complete within one minute. Okay, sir. See here, A is equal to C. In in chlorine two, here Cl two is there. So two A is equal to D. Hydrogen two B is equals to D, and oxygen four B is equal to four C. What we have to do is that now the alphabet which occurs most number of times, we have to make it equal to one. So we here we can observe that. B and C uh, both occur most number of times. So we can take B or C is equal to 1. From this, we can see that B is equal to 1. Therefore, C is equal to 1 and A is also 1 because A is equal to C and B is equal to C. Therefore, what is D? So D is equal to 2 times A. A is equal to 1. Therefore, D is equal to 2. So in this equation, we need only need to multiply the HCl by 2. Otherwise, whole equation is balanced. So we can see that now our equation is balanced. 
here BACL2 plus H2SO4 use BASO4 plus 2HCl. Now we will draw this uh, table and we can see that all the elements in the reactant side and the product side are balanced. Thank you.